Chloe Winter last updated 1247, October 2, 2017 Napier's PWC building, built by Herbert Construction. A Hawks Bay high-rise which failed to comply with the building code for more than a decade is up for sale. The first story PWC building in Napier, on the corner of Monroe and Raffles Streets, was built by Herbert Construction in 2007 and had been plagued by leaks until it was repaired earlier this year. It had never been issued with a code compliance certificate until June 2017, and it was not issued a building warrant of fitness until 2016. Bailey's Manukau salesman Ben Bailey said while the building had experienced some early teething issues, they had been fixed. Redmore Napier's PWC building still fails to comply with building code a decade later, City Council says new notice due to fixed leaky PWC building liquidators trying to bankrupt Napier developer Malcolm Herbert liquidators file legal action against Herbert construction director over unpaid debts in addition, the cosmetic refurbishment to the basement level would further alleviate concerns about the building's overall condition, Bailey said. The building houses Prisu Adder House Cooper's PWC staff, as well as 23 branches for other large firms, including Fuji, Department of Internal Affairs, and Barter Card. The office block had been split into four separate titles, which were for sale individually or as a whole, Bailey said. Bailey's Napier salesman Sam McDonald said there was some vacant office space in the building, which would be suitable for hosting commercial, retail and warehouse businesses. Inspections by the Napier City Council in December 2007 found the completed building failed to meet the code because of leaks in the basement and roof. Remedial work was done in subsequent years, but problems persisted. When the building's tenant, PwC, engaged its own engineer in 2013 to investigate poor heating, ventilation and air conditioning on the top floor, the engineer found more problems of which the company was unaware. The dispute went to the Ministry of Business, Innovation, and Employment MBIE, with Herbert Construction acting for the building's owner, Thackeray Trust, in disputing the council's findings. In 2014, the ministry issued a determination and said the council had been correct in refusing to issue the certificate because of failings in the weather tightness of the roof and the ventilation on the third floor. Thackeray Trust was issued a notice to fix in December 2014. By June 2017, the building was issued a code compliance certificate. Malcolm Herbert was sole director of Herbert Construction, which was put into liquidation in 2013. Liquidators are attempting to bankrupt Herbert after he failed to make payments under an agreed settlement involving the company. The company built several prominent buildings in Hawke's Bay, including the $10 million Hawke's Bay Regional Council headquarters in 2005, which was later found to be of leaky building and cost more than $2 million to repair. It also built the Anakawa Aquatic Center, the airport terminal in Napier, the Havelock North New World, the Hastings Harvey Norman and several countdown stores in the North Island. Stuff.